Right, hi. So indeed, uh, I'm Uwe from Budget Matador, and um, basically to use uh, some, some uh, you know, startup jargon then, we like to think of us ourselves as mint for small and medium-sized businesses, so it's, as I said, budget and cash flow management, and um, uh, our premise is very simple. Uh, much like Slack is taking email out of corporate communication, we want to take Excel out of the budgeting and cash flow management process, and again, for small organizations. Big organizations, they have their Oracle, SAP, and these type of solutions. And uh, actually, on that note, how many of you use uh, Excel for budgeting, cash flow management, all of that? Okay. And how many of you use something else? Okay. A, a couple of hands. Yeah, so, so the thing is that small and medium-sized businesses are kind of stuck with, uh, with Excel. And Excel is very powerful, there is nothing wrong with that per se, however, uh, it's also very error-prone. So uh, I, I used to run a, a business and then I also used to work as a fundraising manager. So uh, what I experienced is that, first of all, financial data, even in a small organization, sits in different Excel files or different uh, functions of the organization. So the consolidation process is, uh, for small ones, pretty, uh, you know, achy. Then data entry and cash flow forecasting are very sporadic processes because there is maybe not so much discipline on, on how it's done, so not so much fun. Then reporting uh, is, is something that kills time and, and uh, moreover motivation. So I used to spend about a third of my time on, uh, on reporting and uh, there's you know, other stuff I could do with my life. And, uh, and then we realized looking for solutions uh, for a small organization that cash flow uh, uh, management applications are very expensive and usually pretty clumsy and have terrible UX. And then last but not least, uh, we also noticed that there is a lot of duplication of uh, paperwork between financiers and uh, and the target, uh, let's say, organizations or units. So uh, reviewing budgets, uh, auditing, uh, you know, everybody comes up with their own Excel sheet and you have to enter the data multiple times. So then we started solving this problem and uh, essentially we have uh, an application that I will show you right away that has the budgeting, tracking, cash flow and reporting features sort of uh, on the top of the iceberg and then the bottom part would be integrations with your accounting softwares, with your bank accounts, something that sort of takes the paperwork uh, out, of the, out of the process. And uh, to briefly show you what we, what do we do then, um, okay it's, it's extremely bright over here, but the, you know, the process is very simple. First of all, you get to add projects, so uh, there's a very simple, well, not projects, but budgets rather, that would be a better term to use. Then uh, once you have added them, then you can uh, sort of navigate through them, whether they're, you know, completed, do you want to see them in this list or not, if they're in preparation, you can take them out, if they're live, you can sort of keep them in here, so there's that type of uh, navigation. Then uh, you have the, uh, the very basic uh, budgeting element. So this is a, a budget that I'm actually running uh, on this application. So you have a nice little dashboard that gives you an overview of your key financial indicators. You get to uh, add your, uh, your cost items over here, uh, as well as income items. There is some basic budgeting data, there is forecasting data that you can access, and then there is, uh, for heavy users, accounting and reporting data. So if it's a, a publicly funded organization, then maybe they have a lot of compliance and reporting issues, so they can uh, fit all this in, and ideally, again, this uh, information ends up in our application through integrations. So if you've done uh, all, your, uh, all your budgeting and budget tracking uh, in due form, then uh, you can go to the dashboard and then uh, you'll get a sort of a visual overview of your cash flows. You can zoom in on particular projects that uh, you, you want to get an aggregate of or you get the entire thing uh, and at the period obviously. So, so this is uh, sort of a, you know, uh, one, one glance overview. And then uh, you have a, a reporting section and uh, here, I mean, first of all you can apply your filters as you please. But what we find fun is our uh, sort of column selector. So you can drag and drop uh, and click on and off which columns you want to be featured in your report so that it will fit, for, for example, your financer or your boss's uh, expectations. And then, uh, and then you pull, pull the uh, report and uh, that will be exportable in Excel or whatever you need, but also shareable out to your boss or your board members or your steering group or you know, God knows who. So that's the short of our uh, product. Yes. Do you
integrate with uh, the accounting package QuickBooks? Uh, we don't right now because we are very early, but the idea is yes, exactly to, I mean, we have a RESTful API type setup, so uh, bigger accounting softwares, we will do the integrations ourselves. If it's smaller ones, especially considering that, you know, the accounting is very uh, country based, all the regulations are national, so customers will be able to integrate themselves if they so choose. Do you have any collaboration capabilities so people can look at the same the same financials from two locations? Yeah, that's the idea. So it's all web based, and uh, it'll have a very Google Drive like identity management. So all you know can view, can edit, can uh, comment. That would be the, the third option, and yeah, sp sp spread it out either to authorized people or then you can create a, create a public uh, link if you wanted to. So you said you are integrated with the bank, so do you enable bank reconciliation and all of those things automated? Or? Yes, again, we are not yet integrated to be honest, but in the long run, uh, automatic reconciliation is what we have in plan. <coughs> so so uh, we're thinking of a freemium model. and. Um, because just philosophically, Excel has uh, has its problems. Then uh, the idea is to really uh, remove barriers so that small organizations could uh, adopt uh, this software. Which means that the free part is uh, pretty incompatible, including the archiving part. So uh, there is a pretty sort of a we have been thinking about maybe ten thousand uh, uh, items can be uh, archived, searched in the long run. And then beyond that, we will be charging a user per month fee, uh, probably around sort of 30, 40 bucks uh, a, a person. Yes. What's your security model? So that's very early, and uh, we will adopt, you know, let's say standard or industry standard security uh, technologies, but I'm not in a position to answer that right now. Yes. So, uh, Someone like QuickBooks, are they not your competitor? Because you see QuickBooks advertising to sole proprietors and mm -hmm. all these small businesses. So QuickBooks is an accounting software, right. not budgeting and cash flow. So do they, they do not provide budgeting and cash flow uh, statements? Yeah, QuickBooks, as far as I know, and I've checked, doesn't. Uh, th there are certain uh, accounting applications like uh, like Microsoft's, like formerly it was Navi. So they, for example, have the budgeting features as well. But again, they're one of the higher end expensive versions. So, so I'm, I'm uh, basically solving my own problem. Yeah, so I have, you know, five years of uh, of management experience uh, on the financial management side, and uh, that's like the dream tool that I would would have liked to have had. All right, uh, thank you, uh, and uh, round of applause. Thank you.